What's up guys, today we are back here with another video. As you can see, we are going to review the Oculus Quest 2. I have to say it, this is by far the best VR headset you can buy for the money, coming in at a price point of only $300 for the 64 gigabyte. It is crazy. Okay, so you are gonna have a single fast switch LCD panel type. There's gonna be kind of two separate screens that are 1832 by 1920 pixels. Again, that's per eye. Okay, your supported refresh rate will be 72 hertz. This is the default. In some cases, it actually can be configured down to 60 hertz. That said, does come with one USB type C charger. As you can see, the port is right here. And six gigabytes of RAM for the memory. The CPU is rocking a Qualcomm Snapdragon XR2, and the developers have access up to three cores. If you're wondering if the screens are better, if the visuals are better than the Oculus Quest 1, uh, the Oculus Quest 1 was rocking a 1600 by 1440 dual OLED in there, where again this one's 1832 by 1920 pixels per eye, so you are going to see a nice little spec bump there. And then again with the RAM, I believe the Oculus One is only 4 gigabytes, where this one is 6 gigabytes. It does seem snappy, it does seem reactive, there's kind of no lag. It's a great headset, especially, I mean, taking consideration the price, $300, getting you the 64 gigabytes, getting you started in VR. And if you're like me, you know, VR was something that uh, was kind of fun at first years ago, and then it kind of loses its novelty. It's not as fun. Maybe you had like the Samsung VR headset, you know, plug your phone in, month and a half, two months, you're having a lot of fun with it. It's great. After that, you never touch it again. And it's just a dust collector. Uh, this one, games, I mean, guys, games are so interactive now. It's crazy. The graphics are crazy. You'll be in a VR headset, know you're in your living room, and you're still going to flinch. Uh, you're still going to react to what's going on in the headset. And then if you want to just chill, you know, listen to music, if you want to watch Netflix, watch movies, um, or if you want to you know, shoot glass people, uh, work out in there, work out on Mars, work out in Iceland. Guys, there's so much to do. I don't know how you get bored. Updates are still coming out. There's not going to be an Oculus 3 for a while. I really recommend trying this product. Hey guys, so right here you got your power button turning the thing on and off. Sensors all over. You got your USB type C. You also have an aux port in case you want to plug in some headphones. It has built in speakers for each ear. They do sound good. I don't know why you'd want headphones unless you were sitting on a plane trying to watch Netflix or something with it this hard strap it's gonna be an extra $50 super convenient just has a loosen and tighten wheel right in the back fits every head comfortable way more comfortable than the original strap it comes with and yeah it's uh, pretty simple uh, I will make another video about the modifications you can do what I recommend uh, do's and don'ts oculus accessories third-party accessories and then what the best VR games are in the Quest 2 and probably keeping the main ones out like Beat Saber and Super Hot. All right guys, thanks for watching and we'll catch you here for next one. Peace.